Hello, everybody, and welcome to our very first premiere edition of In Memory Of. What In Memory Of is, is it's kind of like going to, you know, you know, it's actually spotlighting a person's life. Past on, of course. A lot of the people are celeb, so a lot of people are people that are in the spotlight. Some people are relatives, family members. Um, I will say this so I can get it out in the open. If um, anybody feels that any of my shows are, you know, just don't want this on, uh, internet on this uh, show then um, just send me a message private message to my email which is sigs underscore jeff at yahoo.com that's sigs s-i-g-s underscore jeff j-e-f-f at yahoo.com send me an, an email let me know that you don't care to have this on the show and I will make sure I get off if I get too many of them I will just cancel the show right out and we will not have another show about anything most of the people I do talk about are actually in the spotlight and they're being highlighted, so we should have no problems here in the next few weeks. So um, we're going to talk about our first show, our first episode. Um, this is about a girl who is about well, 12 years old. Her name is Shonda Sherrod, and she actually was inspired by two books. I think one is called Cruel Summer and Something Sacrifice. I'm not sure. I apologize. Um... The storyline goes is Shonda Sher was a 12-year-old girl who went to school and there was three girls that, you know, basically didn't like her. Melinda Loveless and uh, Tori something, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not too familiar with these characters, these people. But the storyline is um, Shonda was a lesbian. She was into girls, which is understandable. And she had a, a thing for one of the girls, I can't remember, I think it was Melinda. Um, uh, one night, the three girls went out and they actually took her, threw her in a car, and they literally tortured her. This is truth. They tortured her. They they sat here and put her in the trunk of a car. They took hammers and bat, belts on her head with hammers. They, you know, were beating her with hammers. They, you know, they did all kinds of stuff to her. Eventually, they ended up going to a devil's place or whatever it is. And he did a bunch of shit. They beat her up with sticks and stuff. I don't know. All kinds of stuff. It was, it was brutal as I know that. Finally, the two hours of torture end, finally ended when they went to a open road way back in the, in the pasture area. And they beat the living, just beat her and beat her until they finally decided to just burn her. And she ended up getting burnt to death. And, um... The whole point of, of the video is to, to spotlight and highlight her life. And um, this one kind of makes me upset because, first off, the people that w that went out and did this, two of them ended up getting out of jail right away. And one, all she basically does did in prison is take care of dogs. So she basically was never punished for anything. She just kind of, you know, okay, I'll sit and take care of a dog and groom a dog and walk a dog. I mean, you think, why are you walking? You're in prison and you're walking a dog? This is this is your punishment? And this is the thing that really upsets me, is her family members. Her family members, her father and her mother. I mean, they sit here and act like, okay, they did their time. They paid their dues. No. Your daughter is dead. Your daughter is gone. Your daughter was tortured and beaten to death. And you're sitting here telling me that they served their, they served their time. They did their, they paid their dues? No. No, two of them got out. They're having kids. The one is sitting here, sitting here, sitting here. Bobby's out now, you know. And she said, you know, all she did in prison was take care of a dog. So she didn't pay anything. And that's that's the thing. But that's the thing that I, I, you know, I don't understand is people can go out and they do this stuff and they get away with it and they don't get punished for it. They don't get punished for it. I think the death penalty is a great thing for them. An eye for an eye. She lost her life. They lost their lives. Why? Because that's how it works. You kill somebody, that's the way it works. You do. You just don't do that shit. Now, I apologize for the swearing. I get a little bit agitated. I start swearing. I apologize. This is supposed to be a memorial type thing. And it's just, I think what upsets me about this is you got to think like a father. Your daughter was took and thrown in the back of a car, beaten with hammers, Pushed on, smacked up, beat up. Then at the last, very last minute, she's burnt to death. 
by lighting her on fire. Now, do you really think, as a parent, do you think you can handle that? Do you think you can handle that those three girls just ended up going in there, spending a few months, and getting out? That's it? They spent a few months in, in, in prison for, for, for torturing your daughter and killing her? That's what you get? And you don't care? It doesn't matter? I mean, the girl was only 12 years old. I mean, for cry, crying out loud, you know? I just think it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I don't care right or wrong. It's just not right. Now, I don't know a lot, a lot about the girl. I know she's 12 years old. I know she's was was into a, a girl named, I think, Melinda. I think it was Melinda. I'm not sure the one she was interested in. Like I said, Sam reads, reads the books about it, and that's how I found out so much about her. Um, I just feel that it's a horrible story. And they actually they have a group called... Um, Something about Shanda Sharon, in memory of or whatever, something like that. That's why I got the whole idea for the video. Um, and it's a group where you talk about the, the situation, you talk about... I don't talk on much of it because I'd be too pissed off and too angry, and, and they don't want any of that on there. And if that's the case, if I can't stress out how mad I am, then I just better not be on there. I think it's, it's horrible to think that these girls spend a few months in prison, and they're out, and they're going out and doing what they're doing having a good time, don't think much of it. The parents just sit there and they don't have the daughter no more. You know, and I think it's horrible. And it doesn't matter how it is, it's horrible. So I speak, you know, for anybody else. And the thing is, you know, we months pass on and this is a pretty old situation. She passed in nineteen ninety two. Let's put it this way. In nineteen ninety two, Brett Farb started his first game as a Green Bay Packer. 1992, I just graduated high school. So it's been good a few years ago, a few years ago this happened. I apologize, I'm looking over because some dip wad is on a goddamn, sorry, is on a, a lawnmower. Of course, he's got to do it at nine, eight o'clock at night. He couldn't do it this afternoon. So I apologize for that. It's, but getting back to the video, um, I don't understand it. I don't understand how a father don't understand how a father could just allow, you know, just say, okay, it's okay. They paid their dues. Probably can even sit there and talk to him like nothing's happened. You know, maybe you, maybe there's something to that. Maybe you're not really really close to Shonda. Maybe you're not. Maybe she wasn't your favorite kid. Maybe something. I mean, how can I say something like that? Then think about it. How can you think these girls paid their dues when they didn't? They didn't do anything. They didn't. They went in for a few months. They got out. That's it. You know, it's like it's like you went out. And you stole a, a piece of bubble gum from the store, so you only ended up in jail for two, three days. How do you figure that is punishment for losing your daughter? Anybody, and I'm telling you, anybody in America would never settle for that being anything. I don't care. I don't see anybody can see that just being anything. I can't see them saying, oh, they paid their dues, it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. She's gone. She's never going to be able to come back. She's never going to be able to live her life. She's never going to be able to learn to drive a car. She'll never be able to go to a prom. She'll never be able to, I mean, there's so many things in her life she misses out on because of some stupid broad who does this. And I'm sorry, I'm mad. It just aggregates me. It just punches holes in my head knowing that these people get away with it and it's okay. And the pa parents just say, oh well. You know, oh well, it's okay. No big deal. I'm agitated and I'm sorry. It's not the way this video is supposed to go. But, but you know what? That's how it is. But, um, but yeah, these girls, they just tortured her. They just they did some things to her, which was just un, just not right, just messed up. And you know what? They don't have no remorse. They don't care. They know what they did. They did it. They went to prison. They served her. Maybe that's why they got out so early is because they didn't put up resistance. They just said, yeah, we did it. Goodbye. Whatever. Maybe that's the reason the judge just gave them a light sentence. Say, okay, go do what you need to do. <clears throat> it's just as bad. And anybody, and I mean anybody who's got a heart, anybody who feels bad 
or feel sad. Anybody would feel upset that their daughter lost her life. And you gotta sit and you gotta sit there and know that she's gone and there's you know she ain't coming back. And it's all because of something that happened. And you know what? And anybody who thinks that they paid their dues, I think you really need to examine your thoughts and understand things because I don't believe a woman or anybody that goes and spends two, three months in prison and comes home and goes and gets to leave. And then another girl can sit there and play with dogs instead of serving her time in prison. I don't think that's correct. And you know what? They put this on Dr. Phil. And Dr. Phil, you know what? Just, oh, it's okay. You know, why did you do that? Did you know? Maybe you should sit there and ask him why they got such a light sentence. Why are they, why in this judicial system did they end up spending two, three months in prison and then get out? Why is it that a woman who instigated the whole plan, why is she sitting there taking care of dogs? That's, that's what you do, you have her taking care of dogs? You know, she goes out and kills somebody and she gets to take care of dogs? Then there's people out there that might go out and get a traffic ticket and they get thrown in prison for a traffic ticket, for not paying a $10 seatbelt ticket. That's how this world's been. This is what, you know, this, I know the world has nothing to do with this whole situation, but the way it does, in the way it does, I'm just, I am really, really agitated about this. I really am, and I, I apologize. It's, this is just a very sad situation. It's not something, it's been expired by two books. It's been, um, actually was, I think it was a part of a movie too. And of course, it was a, you know, publicized on Dr. Phil. So, this is a you know publicized um, situation. It's not something like I'm just going and putting it on and saying all this. This is actually a publicized situation. So, but my heart goes out to the family. But I, I really think, you know, I could sit here and say my heart goes out to them. But in a way, maybe I can't. You know, if they really think that these girls paid their dues, then I really don't can't feel really bad. I feel bad because they lost their daughter, yes. But I can't feel bad that they sit here and say, oh, they paid their dues when they didn't do nothing. You know, that's as far as that goes. Um, but uh, an aspect of Chandra, I think it's, it's a sad situation. You know, you look at her and she looks like a very happy girl. She looks like she was, you know, she was living life to the fullest, having fun and and now you look at her and you think about it and, you know, she's gone. She's only 12 years old. She's, you know, lived only a quarter of her life. It's just, it's not right. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a sad situation. And I, you know, usually my shows are half an hour a piece and I'm about 13 minutes in and I just, I actually have no words for this situation. I just, you know, I, I, I look at, you know, Melinda and I look at how she is and, and I feel heartbroken I really do I feel that I, I look at these 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 people and they're knowing that they're out of prison and they're living life and having fun doing things sharing things and acting you know everything's all cool now you know and if you think about it they all got a light sense think about it so what what was gained by all this this girl gets tortured this girl gets killed this girl gets burnt and the three people that do it, you know, they're then up out of prison. They didn't, you know, do anything. Nothing was gained here. Nothing, you know, no. They didn't pay any dues for what they did. It actually worked out really great for them. They go out, they torture this girl, they kill her, then they go out and end up prison for two, three months, and they're out. So, so what they did, killing that girl, you know, it's like they can sit back and like say, "Ah, oh, that's great. That's great. We got rid of the woman that we wanted to get rid of." And we didn't have to spend too much too much time in prison. Works out perfect. Now we can go and live our lives. We can be we can be going out with whoever we want to go out with, and that's it. We don't have to worry about her interfering in our lives anymore. So in that case, I should just go shoot the guy in the neighbor next door and say, "Hey, you know, I did it. Sure, I did. It. I did it because you know she was getting interfering in my life. So I shot her. I admit it." Now I maybe get my one, two, three months in prison. Oh well, maybe I can take care of a dog or a cat, or maybe I can go wash wash the floors for you know, just for something to do instead of being in prison, 
serve my time. Why not? That's what you guys do. You don't you don't take responsibility for anything. This girl loses her life and everybody just acts like everything's okay. And it, you know what? Like I said, it agitates me. I'm trying to think of things to say because I'm just speechless about this situation. But um, but yeah, it's a part of it's a part of many shows. It's part of a show. It's part of Doctor Phil. It's a part of two books. So it's it's a publicized thing. They have like I said a group where you talk about your feelings on it, which I would be truthful to you. I can't I can't suck it up. I can't deal with it. I feel horrible. I just feel like you know, I feel horrible for this, this girl and it's it's absolutely horrendous. It really is. And um you know, she you know, she was living life, being happy, being, you know, who she wants to be and and you know as a parent I just can't understand how you just kind of blow it off like it you know okay it happened you know they paid their dues it's over it's not over you know I lost my best friend and I will highlight my best friend Ryan in a future episode but it's like him you know and you'll get to know a little bit about him too in a future episode of the show but you know, it's it's the same situation. You know, I can sit there and act like nothing happened, but the sad thing is that person is still gone. That person still lost their life. That person, you know, and they and they died. The person died a horrendous death. It wasn't, it wasn't a case of you know an accident. It wasn't a case of, of, you know, just a you know just a you know bad situation. This was a case of people wanted this girl dead and they got her dead. And the nice thing about it is they didn't suffer very much for it. You know, they didn't suffer at all. They didn't, it's not like they had to go to prison and they had to spend their lives on death row or anything. They didn't have to do anything. A couple months and they're done. And the thing is, people are going to sit there and say, oh well, it's okay, don't worry about it. And I'm afraid to say I do worry about it. It's a very very sad situation. That's as far as I'm concerned. You know, I just... I just, you know, I saw all I can say is, you know, I, I do these videos because I feel for the families, I feel for the people that are going through stuff like this, and I, and it's weird that this one is just, just a little bit turned around in circles because it's not quite what you think it is. I mean, you're thinking that, you know, this person is. Why people mourn them on it? That's what I just. That's what I was just saying. It's crazy, but it's a sad situation, and yes, it is. And um, you know, this this one is just crazy because it's you know the parents don't think that everything's okay now, and they, you know they paid their dues and they didn't, and um, so um, it's horrible, absolutely horrible. So um, I usually I put these things on for. 30 minutes and I'm just trying to think of things to say because I'm just speechless about this one. You know, and I'm going to do future shows but I just, you know, all those are te the ones that are future episodes are totally different than this one and, you know, when you watch them you'll see why. Um, but uh, this, you know, you just, when I, like I said, when I watched, it, when I heard the story and like I said, Sam read the books, I just, couldn't believe, I mean, I watched the movie, too, they had the movie, and I just couldn't believe the way things are, I can't believe how, you know, these people be, and they, you know, and they, it's like, they get, they got a free card, you know, they, you know, sure, you know, I'll make you a deal, you can sit in here for three, four months, you know, and trade for, you know, you know, you go out and you do this to this person, and we'll give you three, four months in prison, you know, no big deal, you know, so it's just, you know, it's like the ultimate, you know, ultimate game of chess, you know. I don't have to worry, you know, about if I can go and kill the neighbor next door and I get two, three months in jail, prison, okay, great. Maybe I can take care of a, maybe I can take care of a goat in, in prison or something because, you know, you don't see them paying their dues or going through anything. So it's just, just crazy. It's not, it's just, you know, I can sit and say it over and over again. It's just hard to concept, I guess, because, you know, it's just, it's one of those things that, you know, 
when I look at it and I read, I read about it and I see about how they were and what they did and all the things they did to the to her and and um, it's just you know I honestly can't say that this is this is over I can't sit and I give them credit I mean for them to be at peace with this you know after just a few months of you know going through it I don't think personally if I was a parent like that I couldn't see myself being at peace knowing that they only got two three four months in prison and kept, you know instead of being in there for you know 99 years or 100 years you know I, I just don't see it murder is murder it doesn't matter if it's with a knife a chainsaw a gun a, a, a hammer fire lightning it doesn't matter it's it all comes the same way. It all How do you does get the same killed thing. by lightning? Well, you get electrocuted. Well, that ain't murder. Well, it is murder if you uh, use electrical shit and you zap the person. Sorry, shit. Sorry. But, you know, it, it's all murder. It's, you know, you make a tent to kill somebody. So if you tie somebody to a tree during a lightning storm and they get electrocuted, you know, you, you get the point. It's all murder, any way you look at it. And you know, and you, and you see person get, you know, get a very light sentence point. It's like nothing was gained. But like I said in one of my videos, is that you know people do get away with stuff, and they use some some it always use something, you know, to get them off with a lighter sentence. You know, it's just crazy. You know, and this this situation is is crazy enough as it is. I mean, knowing that. And the thing is, that, you know, I go on this this the group and I'm just sitting here listening to these people and they're just I just don't think they get it I made a comment that I wasn't very happy about how people can sit and make a big memorial at a at a, at a, at a murder scene I just can't see that I mean I you know I rather put you know flowers or something on on a grave over a, a murder scene and they say well that's still a nice that's still a place it's not the point it's you know that's like me saying I'm going to go down to the to the funeral home and I'm going to put flowers on in front of the funeral home. I mean, really? You don't seem to understand. You wouldn't put flowers in front of a funeral home. You'd put flowers on a grave. People put flowers on the side of the road where people are killed. But I don't understand that. That's just the thing. Why would you want to put it where the person got killed at? Know. You know, you'd want to get put it in the memorial, you know? And that's the thing I do. And if I get in a big heated argument about that and I say, I just don't think it's right. I don't see how I can sit there knowing that that's where she got killed at, you know, putting flowers there. It's like, maybe I don't understand the situation. I don't understand how it is. I mean, I know a lot of people go down that road and do, you know, do shit and, you know, put shit there. But I just, sorry, stuff there. It's just, I can't concept that. I just don't understand it. But, um. That's what they do. So. Why do you always play with your big honker? Yeah, I play with my big honking nose sometimes. I just wipe. It's kind of a habit, so if you wonder why I do this, I, you done? it's a habit. I'm almost done. i got about probably six, seven minutes left. I don't want to hear you rant that long. we got to watch the show. So she's wanting me to watch the show. I'm going to finish this up here in a little bit as she's cranking the TV on now. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up real quick. Um, but like I said, this is this one is in memory of Shonda Cher, Cher, Cher. I don't know the last name very well, but but that's what this one is about. Um, it's a new type of show. Um, hope you like it. Hope it's informative. Next one we we'll do will be about Amy Rademacher. That's one is actually a local story, and uh, you just gotta watch, watch the video to know a little bit about her life and what happened and all that stuff. But that will be our next uh, show. So I have about six minutes left. So I'm going to cut this one up a little early. As Sam wants to watch TV and I don't really want to hear the TV running during the video. So I'll get going. So um, this is called In Memory Of, Shonda Share. I'll see you next time for Amy Rademacher. Until then, so long.